Hey guys, this is Andre Smirnov for the Fast Lane Truck, and with me is Kent with MrTruck.com. And we've had a pretty wet spring. It's been snowing and raining, but we've listened to your comments, and we want to take this truck up the hill. What do we have here? This is a 2015 Silverado LTZ four-wheel drive with a 6.2 V8 gas, eight-speed automatic, and the max towing package. That's right, that's right. It's got the eight-speed automatic. And last year, we did the 2014 Silverado with a six-speed, and we want to see how this compares, right? Right, we'll see how much difference the transmissions are, where the mapping is, where the shifting will be. Yeah, and that's coming up right now. Are you going to step on it? I'm on the button. Tell me when to Boom. go. Now. Oh, you went into the wrong screen. I don't know what it did. You went into the wrong screen. I reset it. I reset there it again. you go. Oh, that's close. Are you all the way down? I'm all the way down. All right. I was almost 6,000 RPM on that shift. I wish I knew what gear it was. Okay. We're flying now, though. You hear yeah. that rumble? That's that yes. V8 power. Yes. And Andre, I want to welcome you to the cockpit crew. This is your first run inside. Well, well, actually, oh, you know what? This is my second run. Your second run? Yeah, I did one run with Nathan when we had the F-150 oh, natural well, gas. Shoot, so you're not a virgin at all. Ah. Oh. Son of a gun. So, Boy, we are flying. We are, gosh, I guess I'm going over the speed limit. How fast are we going? Uh, I'll tell you here in a few seconds. Okay. 65. Okay. So the whole point of this run, Kent, is... We did a 2014 Chevy Silverado with a 6.2 V8. Yes. And that one was not a max trailering package and it had the six speed automatic. We measure squat on the eye gauntlet runs and Right now, this distance is 37 inches, loaded, and we measure both sides, and the squat is at two and a half inches. Which on this, maximum torque is 4,100. So it's shifting down, you know, in the low threes. Well, that means to gain power, you have to you have pick to, it all up all over again. Yeah. And this one, I think, the shifting is much closer to the power curve, which I like. So I'm very impressed with how this handles. So, um, yeah, so we have the 8-speed, and we want to compare the two, right? See right. how this does. Right now, you're at about, what, 4,000 RPM, Yeah, right? so here we're 4,000 RPM at 65 miles an hour, and we're just at the beginning here, so I don't know what angle we are, but, you know, we're eventually going to be at 7% grade, which is pretty dramatic. And we are pulling 10,000 pounds in this horse trailer. Yes, and it's exactly the same load that we did with the other trucks. Yes. And with the other Chevy Silverado. Right, and as, as you recall, with, well, that was, I guess that was the three-quarter ton with that six liter that won the gas uh, part of the uh, Golden Hitch one, yes, wasn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. yeah, no, no, but I'm talking about the light duty. Yes, we exactly. Had, we had the right. light duty 1500 yeah. uh, with the 6.2 and the 6-speed. Six right. And I have some data here. When we ran that truck, it went up the hill in 8 minutes and 26 seconds. Okay. And it got, on the way up, only 3.4 mpgs. According right. to the computer. So, we want to compare and see if the 8-speed, how the 8-speed affects it. Good old American V8. This is the 6.2 with 420 horsepower, 460 torque, and that torque comes in at 4,100 RPMs. We'll see if this is a real towing machine. Now this we know has a max trader package, which has the 342 axle. Correct. Which doesn't seem low, but that's what General Motors has for this package. And that right. gives you heavier duty springs, it gives you bigger cooling, 
uh, the brake control and a few other things and that's what you want when you're towing you want as much cooling capacity as you can get and I've noticed on this too it also makes the ride a little rougher but I don't know if they've added a leaf spring oh, or what you mean they like when unloaded well when you're loaded unloaded. or loaded I think this is a little rougher riding truck than the last one now what was the axle ratio in that other Silverado that other half ton 15 you know I, I believe it was a three uh, seven three oh it was yeah okay um, I like but, that axle ratio, but this is yeah. GM's max towing Yeah, this capacity. is what they did for this year. Right, so, this one this one actually is rated to tow 11,900. If it was a two-wheel drive, it could go up another 100 pounds, which kind right. of blows my mind, but they're that close. Yeah, interesting. Um, and the payload on this is 2,110. 2,110 pounds. Right. Because of the heaviest springs. Yeah, and we're a little over 900 pounds yeah. sun weight, and then add us to it, and we're all within all the numbers. Yeah. We're all totally within the capacity of this truck. Now, I'm not a big fan of chrome, but the silver ice paint does the most with this package. I think overall the truck looks really good and it pops. I like the overall look of the whole paint and exterior. Um, I also like the look of this truck from the side, the squared off wheel arches, and we got this truck sitting nice and level with the Anderson weight distributing hitch. We're at the sweet spot. We're 65 miles an hour, about 5,000 RPM, so it's got plenty of power. And it will, you know, I, I can't accelerate anymore because I'm, I'm there. I'm as much as this thing will do. And I don't know if we're at 6% grade right here, exactly what we are. Yeah, but we are climbing, definitely. Yeah. So we started at about 9,000 feet of elevation. Right. And we're going just over 11,000. That's right? true. That's true. Going up this hill, so. it's a little bit of rain today. But other than that, we got a clear road ahead of us, which is unusual for a Friday. We've really lucked out. Right. Well, this ski season just ended. Yeah, Like a true. couple days ago. Most resorts have been closed, so we have a clear highway. Let's let's test the sound level, shall we? Okay. A lot of you guys wrote to us and said, "Where's the sound meter?" <laughs> right. So let's. Uh, you're wide open, right? Yes. So that's showing right at about 70 decibels. Okay. We're up here in a little level spot here. Yeah, we, we cannot exceed the speed limit, right? Right. And we are timing this to see, you know, approximately how this truck does. I thought we just had to stay to the speed limit when Roman was with us. It's all the time? Oh, oh okay. Well, we should. I, <laughs> we should we, I think we should. <laughs> Now these optional towing mirrors are very useful. They're manually extendable. And you got the amber lights on the outside and they are power folding as well. Check it out. Um, it's a $230 option. And this truck overall, the LTZ package 4x4 double cab, the way it sits right here, it's $48,655. I kind of like the V8 noise. I think I want yeah. a little bit more. It does. It sounds good. It sounds good. Now this truck, you know, you guys are talking about all the chrome on it. I usually didn't like the Silverado because that giant chrome bumper just kind of like the Nissan Titan. A lot of chrome. But this, the chrome is actually split up. You know, it's on the mirrors. The bumper's got black parts in it. And the grill is split. So I actually, the bling bling on this, I actually like. This Chevy 1500 has a max towing capacity of 11,900 in a four-wheel drive configuration, this double cab that we have here. We're towing 10,000 pounds, which is a good run for the, what we're doing up here in the, in the mountains. And we have an Anderson weight distributing hitch on it, so we're being all legal with what GM wants us to comply with. And in the trailer, we've got two water totes and 15 center blocks in the rear, two center blocks in the front. We're just a little over 900 pound tongue weight, so we're balanced very well. The truck tows great. Yeah. We're 
get some truck seems traffic be, up here. Seems to be flying up. It may need to be in the fast lane. Yeah, so when we started at the bottom, it was about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. And right now we're at 50. So it's not an awfully hot day. It's it's about average. We got a traffic jam um, right in front of us. I think you can probably pass here. Should I'm going to try. Should? I don't see these blinkers on, so nobody's telling us no, that they're no. coming. We're good. See, we're still 55 miles an hour, and I had to pull back a little bit because of the traffic jam. But okay. we've got good speed, and we are about to the uh, to the lights. steepest part. Right. Yes, and this is I can see the tunnel now. I like the overall layout of the Silverado. I especially like the split folding bench seat. You can get this option in many trucks. And this is an LTZ, which is a higher level truck. I think this is useful on shorter journeys. Um, I also have two questions about the interior. The MyLink infotainment system still can't quite understand what I'm saying. Some people say I have an accent, but you know, I think I'm speaking pretty well. Um, and on the steering wheel, there's still two levers to do the tilt and telescoping feature. So I can get comfortable here, but why can't it be a single lever? You know, we're losing a lot of power here. You know, at the top, it's about 32% down, depending on the environmental factors, like right. temperature, pressure, barometric pressure, as well as humidity. And we're getting light we're snow, there. light yep. snow. So I'm ready on my timer. And now, look at this. I want to see. Seven see. minutes and 39 seconds. That's pretty good. And, so and so the, was, other, the other Chevy was at 8 minutes and 26 seconds. Yes, and that transmission does help. It holds the RPMs, keeps you in the power band, and then gets what's important. Yeah. You know, you don't lose the power. You have to start all over each well, here, each shift. Where are we at on MPGs? There were was, three we, point, were, we were 3.3 coming in the tunnel. Okay. So almost identical MPGs. That's right. That's good. So, that's, you got the speed, you got the power, and you haven't lost fuel mileage. And I think, you know, in normal situations on the flat, you can improve your fuel mileage. Plus, this has got that cylinder deactivation, which I think helps when right. you're not pulling traders up mountains. Yeah. Now, this is a double cab. It means it's a shorter cab. And I'm sitting here, my knees are hitting the seat in front of me. But I actually like this package because smaller adults and children are actually very comfortable back here. And the door is not as big and it's better in tighter parking spaces. This truck with an 8-speed automatic had a significant you know, performance improvement up the hill. Yes, it's an, it's an improved drivetrain. I think they've done well with that. Yeah. So that's really good. I'm Andre Smirnov for the Fastlane Truck. And with me? Kent with MrTruck.com. Come back for more iGauntlet Extreme Towing Tests on TFLTruck.com. Thanks, guys. Later. So you guys have asked us to show a little bit more of the downhill. And right now we're heading down the I Gauntlet slope. And you see the message in the middle? It says, great braking active. We are using tow haul mode. And the whole point about the downhill is to see how well the truck is able to slow itself down without using too much of the brake. You know, how well is the transmission working and helping you slow down? Because it has to have enough RPM room to be able to shift down one gear. And, you know, if you hit the brakes, you can great shift with the brakes, too. There it goes. There you go. And it, there you know, it goes. So the computer has to estimate where that next gear will put you RPM-wise. And as long as it knows there's enough room in there, it will help you shift down.